are searching for knowledge. What a discovery. Not from the world. And then you're pregnant, and then you're pregnant, and you're pregnant, and you're pregnant, and you're pregnant. That is real science. Come in. Sit down. Thank you. I've read it. It's good. Very good. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you very much. In theory, you could with a few minor alterations, in my opinion, graduate summa cum laude. Really? In theory. I do still have a few questions. Okay. Could you read this to me? Despite accumulating correlative evidence supporting a neuroprotective role of the ERP57, the contribution of this folders to the physiology of the nervous system remains unknown. Rebecca, you realize that if you quote someone, you need to refer to the source. Otherwise, you're committing plagiarism. Yes. Despite accumulating correlative evidence supporting a neuroprotective role of ERP57, the contribution of this foldase to the physiology of the nervous system remains unknown. This sentence was written 10 years ago. The probability of you coming up with exactly the same way of describing this material is negligible. Yeah. Um, I'll change it right away. I'll add the reference. I was reading that thesis while I was studying the literature, so... You read it? Or did someone read it to you? You can go now. I heard you were looking for me. Karen, I need to talk to you. <laughs> you don't need to say anything. I understand. You do? I can see it in your face. You're not going to do it. <laughs> Karen, I'm sorry. I, I, I just haven't had the time to consider it yet. Then what's the problem? I have this fantastic student, but she's committed plagiarism. Yes, deliberately. She wants to fix it by adding the references, but the intention was definitely there. sentence you said. You didn't say it was in your thesis. Of course he remembers.
What a discovery! Bees in the south of Peru. He was searching for knowledge. Not an article. And then you put, then you put. But how amazing would it be? Tributes that young scientists caused curiosity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is real science. Rebecca! Rebecca! I have to officially inform you that you are suspected of plagiarism. Until a verdict has been reached, you will be suspended from the university and you won't be able to graduate until the matter has been resolved. It's my fault. I should have known. Stupid. Sorry. He's stupid. He knows that wasn't deliberate. He knows I could have just cut that whole sentence. It's the first draft. He could have just totally let it go without a problem. Nobody would have noticed. It's not like it's being published now, is it? Even if this thing gets sorted, I am never going back to his talent class. So, you don't need him anymore? No. Not anymore. 